lads, this is one of the harder videos I've had to make. I, I don't make many videos anymore, and you're probably wondering why if you subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe, it does help, by the way. But it is just a very difficult time on FIFA. I'm sure a lot of people that you've watched have said such a thing. I just am not enjoying FIFA. I play sporadically, I stream far less than I used to, I averaged under one every two days for the year because of how mediocre FIFA is, and FIFA 22 was actually my most streamed category over FIFA 23. Now, why is that? Why is FIFA so in the state that it's in? There's a lot of reasons. This World Cup promo has just been incredibly underwhelming, and I know a lot of you probably agree, or you'll say, oh, but they've got to save something for Team of the Year, or something for other promos, so the power curve's not too high. Yes, that may be so, but the World Cup is arguably the biggest real-life event, and it's, an, it's only every four years. It doesn't come around very often. This is a quad-annual thing. I think that's the term. A quad annual event. It's every four years, or three and a half years of the next one because of the situation we've been in. But, there's just not enough content to provide. Yes, they've been putting out plenty of promo teams, and they've been putting out plenty of SBCs, but the SBCs have been mostly mediocre. It is a shame. Like, these cards here are extortionately priced. I understand their links, and I understand their players, but... The links and the SBCs just aren't that well priced. This Goetze, again, it's a rehash from a card we get every year. Except this year, it's obviously for the World Cup final against Argentina. So, well, if you don't do it, you're a moron, EA. Then there is this Ronaldo, which again, he is far too highly priced. He's 500 odd K. I have him on my co-op account that I play with one of my friends. Even he does not play as much as he used to, so it's more of a solo account in case I need to practice for any upcoming events. I just think this card's too overly priced, given that he is a Portugal card by League and Nation only. Like, that's about it. What else is there? There's this there's this Vlahovic, which I'm sure is okay. There's these World Upgrades cards. There's these Halftime Challenges there's just not a lot else. The dynamic duos, very mediocre. You've got your icons, you've got your player of the month, you've got your swaps. Swaps have been mediocre as well. The swaps debacle is not something I wish to get into much over the course of this, but swaps has been fumbled massively. I feel like removing the soft bands would have been the easier way to make swaps enjoyable. But, yeah. I haven't played much swaps. On this account, by the way, if you're curious, this account is just an MLS team with a few Syria and the Aussie lads in Hulstitch and Degenek, for those of you that care. We've got, obviously, Thiago Silva, Sissoko, we've got a few untradeables, and I bought Nunes, because I thought, why not? But I can't use him because of chemistry. But that's the team, obviously. It's not that great, but it's just a bit of fun if I ever decide to actually play on this account. But, yeah, there's just not enough content on FIFA to keep me focused on the game full-time. That's what I want to be. I want to be a content creator. I want to sit here and say that this is my job. Whether I'm earning a dollar or I'm earning a million dollars, I want to say that I can do this full-time. I want to say that I can sit here and have a loyal community that, that supports me in whatever I do. So we are going to have to pivot away somewhat. I feel like I am going to start putting out more content, more soccer-based content, more football-based content. It might not necessarily be FIFA, but there will be football manager, I'm sure. I've been playing a lot of football manager. I don't take it too seriously, but I'm sure with the right motivation, I can get behind it. There might be more FIFA Maybe career mode and whatnot would be nice. Or just more rant-style videos about actual football, because 
club football is coming back. I'm not going to speak on the A-League, obviously, if you know the debacle with the A-League at the moment. I'm not well enough positioned to speak about the A-League, but we get, we might do some rant star videos on teams like Wolves, because they are my club. We're a bit of a mess at the moment, but club football's on the way back. Carabao Cup this coming few days, so that should be good fun. But, yeah, that's this video. It's only about five, six minutes long. I'm going to leave the entire thing unedited, just throw it up on YouTube and see what people say. I apologize. Again, there probably won't be any videos until the new year from FIFA, but it's going to be a bit of a transition phase because obviously a lot of people are doing the same thing where they're not playing solely FIFA. I know it's going to affect my videos in the short term and the videos probably won't perform nearly as well, but if I have more motivation to put up content, then people will have more motivation to watch. If you've made it this far, hit the like, hit the sub, tell me what you want to see. That's the main thing as a content creator, is what do the viewers want to see? I will do what the viewers want to see. I feel like we're going to do an FM save of some description with a decent side, or maybe a Glory Hunter style thing. But other than that, I don't really know. Which is kind of annoying, because, yeah. But, I will put up some stream highlights as well, I'm sure. We'll put up some stream highlights, because I'm sure that's what people would like to see at some stage. But, yeah, that's me. This has been about seven minutes of me just spitballing with you guys. This will be up on Sunday. And, yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one.